It's almost time. Time for what, you may be asking. Hyper Megatech time. That's what time it's going to be in about 15, 16 hours. But when this video that I'm recording right now goes live, this countdown timer should be at zero, maybe negative, just doesn't exist at all. All the information may be here. But, you know, these guys, they gave me a little taste, a little, a little sample of what they got in store. So they've been teasing this for a little while. This is from the, the company Blaze. The peeps behind the Evercade console and handhelds and all the little retro cartridges that they've been releasing. Some neat stuff. I've covered it very heavily on my channel. And this is different, but it's kind of the same, but it's different. You'll see what I'm talking about. So they gave me a little sample. I know they're going to be sending out a press kit uh, in the morning, but they're in the UK. I'm in the US. I might be asleep at that time. I don't freaking know. But I did get to see their trailer a couple days in advance. And I got some thoughts and I want to share it with you guys, you know, give you guys my impressions. But this video should be live, you know, before this video goes up. But here we here we go. Hyper Megatech Super Pie. I already gave him my thumbs up, you know. I think I'm the first one. Maybe I'll drop a comment down there as well for the algorithm. Right? But here you go. You already see like uh, some final fight action. Hyper Megatech Super Pocket. Look at that. What is this? When I seen that blue and yellow, I was like, what? Is this a mini Evercade? Is that what this is? Or is this more of an impulse buy item that you would see at Walgreens, 7-Eleven, Big Lots, pick and save? I don't freaking know. Is this something that's just going to be hanging at the uh, register ne next to the, uh, next to the uh, Kit Kat bars, the Caramellos, you know, the Paydays, and the bag of uh, Cheetos? You know, is that what this is? Kind of, but not exactly. You'll see. So I, I'm not sure about this D-pad, but when I saw this Capcom edition, I was like, ooh, ooh, I likey. I likey what I see here. So you get the, the Taito edition, the Capcom edition. Okay, little handhelds, like Game Boy shaped handhelds. Arcade games, bitch. And that's what I told them guys. So that's good, arcade games. I know they're not all arcade games on there, but arcade games. Kind of set yourself apart from all these other little crappy handhelds that you see at five below and Walmart, you know, wherever, and they're like 30, 40 bucks, 50 bucks. Even like uh, uh, FYE, they had one. It was like freaking $70, and it was just garbage. I'm like, what is this crap? But arcade games is a big thing. But you may be like, ABX, why? How the hell am I supposed to play Street Fighter 2? Well, look at, oh, shoot, we, we missed it. I, I, th uh, oh, we'll get a closer look in a second. But you saw that. There's some button, uh, there's some butt cheek. Big buttons on the back. What? Why does this right here look like an Evercade cartridge? You may be asking yourselves. And we may have an answer to that in a second. And the price, too. How much is this thing going to cost? In your pocket. <laughs> in your pocket. In your front pocket. Your butt pocket. Your, your breast pocket. Your ass pocket. Your side pocket. Whatever pocket you want to put this in. Look at okay, see, Look at that. I don't know how I feel about those buttons, though. I'm just going to be honest with you. Like, they're just, like, back there. I got to be like, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. I got to see how this feels in my hands. Because that's, like, it, depending on how it feels in your hand, maybe, like, you know, a deal breaker. It could be junk. It could be great. Emulation could be on point. That screen could be beautiful. These are, like, renders, you know? I don't know about the things they were putting in their pockets. Was that green screen? But, um, yeah, dude, it looks interesting. But in practice, is it going to be great? Okay, we got like, we got, what do we got here? We got Final Fight, Captain Commando. What else is on there? Forgotten uh, World or whatever? Ghouls and Ghosts? Mega Man? NES Mega Man? This, like, mm, officially licensed arcade games. And then the title one. We got like some elevator action. Oh, 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 what? This is an Evercade Mini. Is that what this is? They just put the Data East Collection 1 in there. <laughs> so I'm curious because you saw how like they had a, a like a cartridge, like the same color as the system. It just kind of looked like it was molded into it, but it's actual like, it's, is it just a cover? Is it a dummy cartridge? Or does it have those Capcom games on it? I'm imagining the Capcom games are built in and that thing is just a dummy cartridge, a cover. But yeah, compatible with all. Count them all Evercade cartridges. Would that include the uh, Namco ones as well? Hmm. That is kind of cool, man. Oh, shoot. We kind of, we, we, we went back down. So I would imagine 
we have a Capcom one. We don't even know how many games. Wait, we do know how many games. Gonna say, but we don't know what games are on here. Like I'm sure. Look at the package there. 1942 Street Fighter 2, freaking yeah. Mega Man, Super Pocket, 12 arcade classics, including Mega Man arcade classic. I have some questions that I think need to be answered. What What is that? 17 Taito classics. What is on there? You got like, what is that? Operation Wolf or something? Um, I'm more, I'm more curious on, we saw like four, maybe five of the uh, Capcom games. Okay, what are the, what's the price? This little curly uh, L thing, 49. And then the C with some lines, 59. The dollar sign, that's what I'm familiar with, $59. It's a little more expensive than your typical um, impulse buy handheld that you find on the in a dark alley somewhere. Um, now, is what we're getting here justifying the price? Well, it's a handheld that has games, like an impulse buy little quirky little handheld, little gift thing you buy to... You know, if you celebrate Christmas, you're putting a little stocking for somebody, you know, a little gift, a little, uh, uh, you know, you work at a business and like your employer wants to force you into like a gift exchange. I, I'm a, I'm a grump. I would just, I ain't, I ain't participating in your gift exchange. Get the hell out of here with that. But for those of you who aren't like, you know, misers like me, um, you know, where I, where I work right here in my home, I do a gift exchange with my family. That's, that counts, I guess. Um, but yeah, like something like, Hey, you know, spend under a hundred dollars, boom, get a gift. You know, somebody's like, Oh, this is a retro gamer. This guy loves street fighter. This is kind of cool, man. Bubble bobble over there. Freaking super pocket title edition. 59 bucks is not bad considering that it's a handheld that plays cartridges. It's not your typical impulse buy thing. From what I understand, they said it's not going to be as like feature rich, as like the Evercade line of devices, but it's compatible with the Evercade cartridges. I think that's neat as all hell, dude. And check it out. Pre-orders start like, today's the, uh, it starts like in a day or something. On the fourth, two days away. When this video goes live, it's gonna be July 12th. Then the 14th is two days away. Uh, my math, you know, I gotta crunch them numbers, dude. So pre-order goes live in a couple days. I'm, I'm recording this on the 11th, though, but okay. Hypermegatech.com. I blanked all this out. I blanked all that out. And I just looked at this. I blanked this out. October. I thought it was at the end. I blanked it out. Hey, it happens, man. It's coming in October. Pre-orders go live in a couple days. Kind of neat. Tell me what you guys think. I'm sure, like, depending on how well these do, they'll probably be having a bunch of others coming out. But there you go. I think it's a neat thing, but I didn't see live footage other than a couple little shots. I have to have one of these in my hands, test some cartridges, see how that works. Uh, simplify, like it's a mini Evercade handheld. Neat, neat. Let me know what you guys think. Bye.